it is Coin Moonshine, aka Tosh, and on this channel we talk about festivals, how to prepare for festivals, do it in the cities of festivals, API cultural heritage, cooking zona. As you may have seen in my last video, if not, I'll link it up here or here. I forget where. Hopefully I learned how to do it. I'm not sure. Happy EDC month, as well as Asian Pacific Islander Heritage Month. I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos pertaining to that. As you may or may not know, I am Asian American <laughs> and I feel like we need to shed more light on everyone's culture from that continent because it's so different. So that's what I'm planning to do with this channel. Follow, subscribe, comment, all those things if you want. If you don't, that's fine. I'm just here to let y'all know places to eat on the strip and maybe off the strip during EDC week or literally any week. <laughs> Colin and I went to Vegas and I captured so many good places to eat. We actually have a bigger list, but we couldn't get to all those places. These places, some places are a little bit more expensive than others, but some of them are like, the last one's definitely like on a budget, but it's so, so good. Oh, and we are going to be working our way on the strip south to north. At first, it was just gonna be where I went to in chronological order, but that's kind of messy. So I just figured we will start from the south of the strip all the way to the north of the strip. Well, we didn't really go that far north. We went to like Flamingo, and that's not super far north. That's not like stratosphere. Okay, let's get started. So the first place we want to mention, it is all the way at the bottom. It is right by Mandalay Bay, which is like the very south of, I think actually there's a new, newer hotel that's even south of that, but it's like essentially right across from Mandalay Bay. Carton is so yummy. We got, uh, like a burrito and something. At the time we were staying at Flamingo. We were staying at Tropicana. I don't know why I kept on saying Flamingo. So keep that in mind. Oh, and Colin and I really like to walk. So we just like walked from Flamingo to there. I think it's like two or three Vegas blocks. So it's quite a bit of a walk, especially if you don't like walking or whatnot. That was really good. Now, just going up a little bit north of that. And called Sayulitas. It's so good. It's not like a huge, actually I don't think we've ever gotten like to eat there. We've only gotten it delivered. So it's like, I'm guessing it's like a pretty small shop and it's so good. It's part Mexican, part Filipino. Sayulitas, they do this longanisa tater tot like thing. Like I did have a video of it, but I think I accidentally diluted it. When Colin and I got it during EDC last year in October, it was massive. Honestly, we thought they might have doubled our order because the plastic bag was so heavy. So yes, definitely check out Cellulitas and you can get them delivered too so you don't have to like go all the way down the strip. Shake Shack. Shake Shack is so good. It's definitely like the spot to be when it's like late night because like who doesn't want like just like greasy yumness when they're not sober. <laughs> the cafe. So. The Hello Kitty Cafe is really fun, it's really cute. I actually posted it on TikTok that we went and someone asked if the line was long and really the line isn't long. It's kind of short, but it just takes people a long time to order um, because people are also buying merchandise and for whatever reason, that just holds up the line. Like I ordered a peach tea and a Gudetama donut and I got our items before we even paid. Like they're like really fast. Deserve good Thomas face. I don't know if y'all are ready. What is this? <laughs> yep, this is what's happening. So if you just cross the street from that and go into Park MGM, which is, by the way, like our favorite place to stay. If you go through the, I guess, southeast doors, you will go into Italy. Italy is like this new-ish um, spot. It's almost like a market. There's like food there, there's desserts there. You can get pasta, you can get gnocchi. Um, that's really good. Like Italy is such a cute place. Um, usually like if we want like a snack on the plane or if we want to get like treats or something to like give us gifts when we come back, Italy is like where we go. We're still in Park MGM, but we are actually- Literally our favorite. MGM. So right after Italy, 
The casino floor opens to your right. It's best friends. The most footage that I have of anywhere that we ate best friends because it's oh, it's such an experience. There are two areas to eat in best friends. One is when you go in. It's kind of like a lot. There's like a lot of neon signs. There's a lot of stickers. There was even posters of like K-pop bands. It was amazing. You go through. It's almost like plastic butcher plastic. I don't know what it's called. Um, but if you go through that. There's actually a bigger seating area. Best Friends is a Chinese and LA food baby deliciousness. Um, I personally like sitting like at the bar in the first area because it's just it's just so cool. Like your like eyes wander and look at everything that's around you. It's just it's just so neat. <laughs> into Park MGM. If you're going through that direction, you would take a right to go to the reception. If you take a left, it's not really marked, which is really, really interesting. But if you go left and then it almost looks like you're gonna exit, but then you take another left, we went to Nomad Library. It was so good. I feel like I'm gonna say that for every restaurant that I'm talking about, but it was so good. Nomad Library, if you go for EDC week, I suggest, well, I suggest checking if they have this, but if they do have this, go on Monday night because they have what's called chicken dinner. Get an appetizer, you get a chicken. And I forget like all specifics. It's so fancy, it's so good. Like the appetizer, and I remember the appetizer was deviled eggs, but it had like shavings of truffle on it. And then they have dessert and that's like, I think it's for two people and I think it's like a hundred bucks, but like you get a three course meal for a hundred dollars. And, and I think maybe the best part about this is that if you wait until Monday, especially they had, they had that deal on, it is so quiet, it is so dark, it's like Beauty and the Beast vibes, you are surrounded by books, it's oh, it's so calming, like I feel like after EDC, like the third day, like that's all you want is like darkness and just like quiet, and, like hella non food. And then going more up the strip, we're at our favorite spot, yes. hot and juicy, literally so good. <laughs> This may be Con and Mai's like favorite, favorite restaurant in Vegas. We used to go when it was in Chinatown because we've been going to Vegas since like 2012 or something. So we know a lot about Vegas, like the food and like the food that's like changed and all that. But we used to go to Hot and Juicy when it was in Chinatown and they had two locations and then they moved to just off the strip. It's right by Taco Bell Cantina, but you just walk on that street for like or three restaurants and then it's there but we're kind of skeptical when they open the one on the strip we're like oh is it gonna be the same as chinatown like what if it's a different flavor it's the same i suggest going there it's easier to get to because the one in chinatown we would take like a cab or we'd get like a ride there and it's like the ride is like 10 15 minutes which doesn't seem that long but to walk back i mean i guess it depends on like how much you like to walk. <laughs> Colin and I walk like everywhere so we didn't really mind like being super full and then just like walking back to the strip which took like 30 minutes maybe even more. We're super excited when Hot and Juicy came onto the strip and you and that brings me to the Taco Bell Cantina. It's so pretty. All of the options of slushies you can have. It's so good. It's definitely also a late night destination to go to. I feel like Shake Shack is a little bit easier to get to just because for Shake Shack, there's a crosswalk right here and people can just like walk. Whereas uh, Taco Bell Cantina, you have to use either Skybridge to get to that. Like you can't just like, it's a little bit trickier to get to. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Aria, oh, I'm so mad. Another great place in Aria or another place to eat at in Aria is Egg Slut. I didn't get a picture of it, but they have this like little jar and then it's almost like mashed potatoes, but it's like almost like a potato puree. And then they put, sorry if you don't like eggs, and then they put an egg there and then they let it cook. And then they give you little small like baguette slices to like dip the yolk and the potato puree. It's so good. It's so good. Egg sled is definitely a place to visit if you haven't and if you like eggs. If you don't like eggs, it's probably not for you. Going up the escalator twice. There is a place called Secret Pizza. We've gone there once. It was okay. Like we really went for the novelty of it. We didn't go because 
it tasted super great. And every time we've tried to go there, uh, the line is super long, so we just don't go. Bar Dot, it's super good. It's in Aria, but it's kind of tricky to get into. So if you're on the like ground floor of Aria, go through the casino, you go through the, up to the escalator, and then you take a right, it's like a big sweeping right, and then you get to Bar Dot. Honestly, I think it's like one of, maybe, it, I think it is the best happy hour food I've ever had. It's uh, deviled eggs, croque madame right there. It is essentially like a corn dog, but it's like a beef wellington, steak tartare closest to Colin. It was so good. Oh my gosh. We're definitely going to go there again. West, so it's like the strip and then the freeway and then like Rio and Palms is like right there. I forget what, which one it's in because we saw... We went to this place and then went to the other one to go to the comedy cellar, which is going to be part of part two of this video. Things to do in Vegas during EDC and just in general. But let me know down below if y'all would like to see that because it's being made anyways. <laughs> yeah, we went to uh, Ping Tang Pong. The food was so good. The wait was not so good. Getting in line wise, the service it was, all was right, just really slow. But the food was really good but the service was really slow, which was unfortunate. And so we are going back onto the strip and we are going a little bit north. And by a little bit, I mean, you take this street into the strip and you take a left and it's right there. For Caesars, we went to- We're going to Vanderbilt! We were both so excited. Colin and I love Vanderpump Rules. So I was like, okay, we have to like remember to go this time. Cause last time we were in Vegas for EDC, we just, EDC. So we went, we had fried goat cheese balls. That was so, so awesome. It was so much fun. And the drinks there are really dangerous. They're really good. They're really good, but they're really dangerous. Oh man, that's Is really good? good. That's really good. It's very dangerous. Yeah? Totally. I'm going a little bit north of the strip. There's a little cove right there. And then of course, White Castle. My top three go-tos. I'm trying to think if there's a particular order. I don't think there's a particular order. I guess I'll like categorize them differently. They are like my top like go-tos, especially like go-tos now. So hot and juicy. Like I said, Colin and I go there at least once. No, that's a lie. We go there at least twice every time we go to Vegas. But it might not be for you if you don't like seafood, but the line is always short. It's like pretty easy to like eat. Like they give you like bibs and stuff. They'll like bring the seafood boil like in a plastic bag and you can just eat it like on the table. So like cleaning up isn't that bad. Um, but again, if you don't like seafood, that's probably not for you. Um, and then also on my list is best friends. I just love the atmosphere, the aesthetic, the food that they provide and the service they give. It's, oh, it's just so good. That it's definitely my top one. And then my last one would definitely be Nomad Library. It's such a cool little tucked away restaurant that we had never heard of or experienced. After we experienced it, we're like, oh, we're gonna come back. And that's always such a great sign. <laughs> Especially, like I said, like we've been going to Vegas for like 10 plus years together. So always finding like a new restaurant or a new gem of food to go to is always a major plus. Thank y'all so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Let me know down below in the comments if y'all have been to any of these places. Let me know if there's any places that I need to check out. All of this content was shot the last time we were up there. So I feel like there definitely are other places, restaurants that you just didn't cover. So please let me know what are your favorite places to go to when you're in Vegas for EDC or just whenever. And I will see y'all in my next video.